Welcome back to the Redonkulous Gaming Channel. You've got Redonk, and today we are talking Heart and Slash for Nintendo Switch. Heart and Slash joined the Nintendo Switch lineup on December 22, 2017, and was originally released on June 24, 2016, on PlayStation and Xbox. It was later released on PC on August 9, 2016, on Steam. If you are unfamiliar with Heart and Slash, it is a brawler roguelike game that is not for the faint of heart. It is a difficult single-player game that is set in the world, run by robots 100 years after the Robolution. Heart and Slash is a difficult game, there's no two ways about it, and there's a lot you have to adjust to if you have never played the game on console or PC. You play as a robot named Heart, who seems to be the only robot not under the influence of the all-seeing machine, aka the quality assurance system. The game begins 100 years after the Robolution, and humans no longer exist as a result. Movement is your first adjustment, as the game is designed to be incredibly fast-paced and your robot buddy needs to stay ahead of the curve. What you're seeing here is not sped up footage, it's the actual pace of the game. The adjustment in the quick movement speed automatically flows into your combat. Combat is simplistic in design, but you often find Heart going up against several enemies at once that all need to be held in check. Your style of combat is going to change dramatically after each death. When you spawn, you enter a room where you're given three random weapons, traits, or shields. At one spawn, you may find yourself fighting with boxing gloves, where the next spawn, you may be wielding a lightning hammer. The primary weapon changes your fighting style dramatically, as each weapon performs combos with different results. I'll go ahead and mention this for a third time. Heart and Slash is a very challenging game, and the game changes drastically from one run to the next. This is not only due to your starting weapons, but also due to randomly generated levels. Your immediate task is to fight your way out of the factory, collecting scraps and defeating quality assurance robots in each room. As you enter a room, you know robots bent on destroying you are about to spawn, but you never know what combination will spawn and what traits they may have. Certain enemy robots may have weaknesses to different weapon or element types. On the flip side, they may also have resistance to those same elements or weapons, so you will need to be savvy with your secondary weapons as well. Additionally, you'll need to upgrade your gear as you collect it and scrap the gear that you're no longer using to obtain upgrades. This all needs to be done on a single life because if Heart dies, the game starts anew. There are no checkpoints or save locations. The good news is that as you encounter more enemies and learn their patterns, the game becomes easier to manage. The difficulty lies in the randomization behind the robots that spawn and the weapons that you have in your repertoire. Boss fights are difficult, especially if you're not ready for the challenge due to a gear deficiency. Mistakes are costly and deaths will occur, which can make Heart and Slash frustratingly fun. Right now, the game only has one play mode, not including the tutorial for Nintendo Switch. However, the developers announced in May that Endless Dungeon Mode was coming. This has since been released on the Steam version of the game, but as of this video, has not been released on Nintendo Switch. Game developer A Heartful of Games confirmed that it is coming in a future patch for the Switch. Endless Dungeon Mode offered in Steam still has randomly generated levels, enemies, and weapons, but the mobs level up as you progress from room to room. This feature would absolutely enhance the game to the point where it would attract more than just hardcore gamers who enjoy the brawler hack and slash genre. Heart and Slash is one of many indie games that has flocked to the Switch. The game was met with positive reviews upon its initial release, but fits into a smaller niche of the gaming landscape. As a hardcore single player brawler, the game has incredible replayability thanks to randomization of mobs and weapons spawned. On the other hand, every mistake or movement made in error is very costly. If you get off to a poor start on a run, it almost makes sense to reset and try again to buy more time to find more scraps or upgrade your weapon. A death means a complete reset, which can absolutely deter gamers. The game had issues immediately upon launch on the Switch, but those performance issues have since been resolved. Heart and Slash has a respectable amount of unlockable content and offers nuanced gameplay for each run thanks to the randomly generated mobs and weapons. Therefore, Redonkulous Gaming gives Heart and Slash for Nintendo Switch a score of 7.4 out of 10. However, when Endless Dungeon Mode is released, this score is likely to increase. Was this review helpful? Let us know in the comments section below. Did you enjoy this video? If so, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. 
Follow us on Twitter at Redonk Gaming. Toss us a like on Facebook and visit www.redonkulousgaming.com for more content like this.